Uh, shout out to everybody on Facebook. What's up, Sexy Sixty? What's up, Melanie? What's up, Raina? What's up, Bernetta? What's up, Jayla? Denitria, thank you for holding it down. Thank you for greeting everybody. What's up, Benita? What's up, Angela? What's up, what's up, Yolanda? How are everybody doing? Stephanie, thank you, Stephanie, for being here. Yes, make sure y'all hit that like button on the way in. Don't be shy. Hit that damn like button because y'all love to be here, but don't hit the like button. <laughs> uh, what's up, Envy? Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, we got a good show lined up for y'all today. I ain't gonna keep y'all waiting. Before we get into the Rick Ross Drake drama, we actually gonna talk about Monique because she was performing over the weekend and she said this. Now, if your kids are in the room, make sure you get them out the room right now. I'm gonna go ahead and play the video. You ready? Cause you looking like you a man of God, T.D. Jakes. Have you ever been swallowed? I would like if this nigga talk about dick sucking on the pulpit. I'm like, yes, nigga, I've been swallowed. Have you, nigga? Yes, I've swallowed you, Medea. Oh. Come here. Whoa. When T.D. Jakes began to talk about dick sucking on a pulpit, that blew my motherfucking mind. Now, excuse me for one second. Yo, who swallowed you, Medea? Now, you know, T.D. Jakes and Tyler Perry are friends. Now, I don't know if T.D. Jakes was just a part of her comedy spiel or whatever. And so then when she said, who swallowed you, Medea? I died laughing. I ain't gonna lie. That is funny as hell. And shout out to Gossip in the City for that clip. But I thought it was funny. Now, a lot of people are saying, oh, Monique's still bitter. Why is she talking about these people? It's comedy. You talk about what's going on and you talk about the world. Like, I don't think Monique is bitter. Now, when she said she threw Medea in there, Tyler Perry, I thought that was a funny joke. I think it landed. A lot of people just say, oh, Monique doesn't really do comedy. She's just talking about what's going on in the world. But that's a part of comedy. You talk about what's going on in the world. Like, I don't see nothing bad about what Monique is doing. But a lot of people think that she's bitter. I don't get that. I don't think Monique is bitter. Can she kind of take some things, you know, I should, I feel sometimes her success should be, you know, her, um, her get back at people, her success more than, you know, the little petty comments. But I think that was just part of comedy. Uh, let me know. Did you guys think Monique took it too far? Yes or no? Do you think that joke took it too far? Yes or no? Let me know. Because you looking like you a man of God, T.D. Jakes. <laughs> Have you ever been swallowed? I was like, is this man to talk about dick sucking on the pulpit? I'm like, yes, nigga, I've been swallowed. Have you, nigga? Yes, I've swallowed you, Medea. Oh. Come here. Whoa. When T.D. Jakes began to talk about dick sucking on a pulpit, that blew my mind. I don't think she took it too far. I think people just want to hate Monique. Honestly feel like people just want to hate Monique and they just don't like her because of the way she comes off. They don't like the husband, but I do not think that joke took it too far. I think if anything, that joke was right on the money. I think that was funny. Who, who, who swallowed you? Medea? <laughs> And, you know, we all think, you know, something a little strange about Tyler Perry and T.D. Jakes' relationship. And then, you know, T.D. Jakes and Diddy. You know, we all think something is funny about that. We all make jokes about it. So, Monique being a comedian, she can't make jokes about it? Get out of here, y'all. Y'all crazy. Um, go to Esther laughs. See, everybody laughed at it. Comedy is also talking. Exactly. It's social commentary. Exactly. Um, yeah, everybody said no, not at all. No, it was not going too far. Yes, exactly. She'll drag you with a smile on her face. That's what she does. I think because, um, with Monique, everybody sees her as the aggressor or the bad guy. So a lot of people don't, when Monique says something, it comes off bitter. But I bet you Dave Chappelle could have told the same joke and everybody be cracking up laughing. Dave Chappelle would have told the same joke. Everybody would have been laughing. I don't think nobody be talking about Monique's bitter and she needs to get over it, blah, blah, blah. Well, hell, what, what other way to get back at somebody? Uh, I'll give you an example. 
So there was a YouTuber that used to mess with me and stuff like that, and they would really uh, talk trash about me and my family. And so what I did was do a show on Halloween dressing up like this person. And I thought, like, me dressing up as the person, everybody would get the joke. It was funny. And the person that I dressed up as even thought it was funny, too, but they said they were offended. But they messaged me and let me know it was actually funny. But you would think that, okay, that was my way of getting my lick back by impersonating the person and dressing up like them. Now, I definitely could have been more hateful and talk about the diseases they allegedly have, but I wouldn't feel right talking about that. So I feel like comedy kind of is your way of kind of getting back at people, but also it, it comedy should be lighthearted. I think that joke was lighthearted, you know. Even though it was talking about TD Jakes being swallowed. But hell, who does have y'all ever been swallowed? Put a one in the chat if you've been swallowed. <laughs> <laughs> and behind the pulpit, he said, Have you ever been swallowed? Shout out to everybody coming in the room. Uh Jackie, Southern Bell. Shout out to everybody coming in. I think I see Melanie here too. Um, the other Melanie. Melanie Jones said so. Make sure you guys follow her. But yeah, see Benita one in the yeah. I've been swallowed, you know? Shit, we all want to be swallowed every now and then. <laughs> sure, ain't nothing wrong with, me with being swallowed. I just don't want to picture no T.D. Jakes being swallowed, you know? <laughs> What's up, Carol? Thank you for coming in the room. Yeah, but comedy is comedy. Now, I do want to point out something. Uh, like about a month ago, Monique was on Don Lemon's show. You know how Don Lemon, it, it had to be three weeks ago because I think his show just started. But Don Lemon has his uh, show that he's doing, right? On YouTube, it was supposed to be with X, but then, you know, with, uh, why do I want to say Elton John? Elon Musk, that went all down the hill, whatever, right? Well, something that I found interesting is like Monique was all like, you know, I do all these interviews and all these shows and I'll be all like, call up your friend, let them know they did me wrong, blah, blah, blah. And nobody has made the call, da, 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 da. And she was kind of venting to Don Lemon. And I was like, oh, wait, is Monique throwing shots at uh, Shannon Sharp? Because she was talking about how she do these interviews and she'd be telling her story and telling how, you know, Tyler Perry, Oprah and all these people did her wrong. But yet, if they're, they're, if they're friends with them, why don't they call them up and be like, hey, did you do this to Monique? You know, make the situation right. But she was like, nobody has made the situation right at all. And I was all like, whoa. And the only person that she had anything positive to say about was uh, T.S. Madison. Because, you know, T.S. Madison was the one who made the call to, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Lee Daniels. And then Lee Daniels made up with, so that was like one person who, held their end of the bargain. but uh, And then Don Lemon did say he would try to reach out and call the people and talk to them. But I have a question for you guys. If, is it the interviewer's job, speaking of Shannon Sharp, Don Lemon, T.S. Madison, is it their job to call Oprah and Tyler Perry or no? That part with Monique, I don't necessarily agree. If I'm doing an interview with you, I'm just doing an interview. Like, I can't be all like, oh, yeah, I'm going to call them and try to make the situation right. You know, in my personal life, of course, you know, I would, if two friends are fighting, I'm going to try to make it right. But, okay, I see y'all saying no. Yeah, I, I, I say no on that. Angela say no. Bernetta said no. Joyful say no. Yeah, I, I don't feel like it's the interviewer's responsibility. I think with that, Monique, yeah, you're taking it a little bit too far. Like, it, it's nobody's responsibility to make the situation right. Th that's really on you. Now, if they're telling you, I'm going to make the situation right and I'm going to call and do X, Y, and Z, then yeah, that is, now that's different. And I think that's what her, her issue was with Kevin Hart or whatever, you know. But I'm not going to take it upon myself to, I'm just interviewing you, like, Okay, after the interview done, I don't give a damn what happened. <laughs> I hate to say it like that, but after the interview, I don't give a damn what happened. Like, it ain't on me, but that's hard to, like, put that on somebody. Be like, yeah, you got to make, you got to call them and call them to the car. Listen, I don't feel like Tyler Perry nor Oprah is ever going to apologize to Monique. 
Do anybody think that uh, Oprah and Tyler Perry will ever apologize to Monique? Yes or no? Go ahead and put it in the chat. And while y'all sip, while y'all marinate on that, I want to talk about our friends at Inspired by Candle Company. Make sure you guys check them out. Uh, the oils are non-toxic. I tell, I'm telling you, I love these smells. I got the Mahogany Bliss, which is a part of the Man Cave collection. And then I got the Cocoa Butter. You know, living in a black household, you always got some cocoa butter around, even though I got a vino lotion right now. But you always got some cocoa butter. They smell great. Please check them out. And also use my promo code AT210, which will give you 10% off. So you can't beat that. And if you spend over $35, you get free shipping and handling. So what you guys say in the chat? No. no uh, hey, Latoria, how you doing? Not never. Could never. Yeah, not unless they uh, flat, flat broke. Yeah, nobody's apologizing. Yeah, now that with Monique, you need to move on with that. I'm sorry. Would y'all agree Monique need to move on? Because that's not happening. They never going to give you an apology. You are never going to get what is owed to you as far as an apology. And mind you, I feel like Monique is in the right. Don't get me wrong. Monique is definitely in the right. What they did to her and how they treated her was definitely wrong. I get it. But they never gonna give you yo, yeah. Never, never. They, they could care less. They could really care less. At this point, you gotta move on. You know, time to move on. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and get into Drake, Rizzy Rose, Rick Ross, the boss. <laughs> okay, I'm going to just play the video and then I will go ahead and talk about it. Okay, y'all ready? Hold your breath. It's such a beautiful day. Me waking up from a nap, I just realized BBL Drizzy called.